I told you guys I was going to make this video today. Man of my word. <laughs> Is the HP Omen 45L the best gaming PC ever? I'm going to give you my opinion on that. So pull up a chair and let's get started. What's good, YouTube? I'm back with another video. Before we get started on this video, I'm going to need y'all to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop future videos. Okay, man, this bad boy right here, man, the HP Omen 45L. This is a beast of a gaming PC, y'all, uh, man. I just got this PC yesterday. Let me tell you guys how I got this uh, PC and what led up to me purchasing this PC. Last year, I did a video on the HP Envy series. It was a TE-01 model, and why it was a great good pc it wasn't a great pc especially for gaming um at that time the pandemic was hitting hard and like students having to do online classes so the only reason i bought that computer is because my macbook pro was in the shop well, my old macbook pro was in the shop um well in in yeah in the shop in Apple Care. A Apple Care was repairing a battery, replacing the battery for it. So um I needed a computer for my online classes. So and I had a gateway FX from, from like two thousand and nine or excuse me, two thousand and ten until last year. If y'all don't remember the gateway gateway FX. Gateway FX was the best gaming PC out at the time it was released. Um, I got it. It was manufactured in 2009, but I got it in 2010. And I paid about nine fifty for it um, around that time, around that much. And it lasted me a good eleven years. Um, you know, from 2010 to two, last year, 2021. That's eleven years. Uh, so it, it gave out on me, and if you guys know know about the Gateway FX, it it was running the ATI, uh, I think it's an ATI graphics card. So ATI has been long gone; it's not around anymore. And um, yeah, it, it was so old, and you know I got rid of it, and then I bought the HP TEO, HP Envy TEO one series. And I um recently sold that for half of what I paid for it. So then again, we come to this. I caught H. I ordered a custom made HP uh, PC. Excuse me, HP Omen um, gaming desktop. I I ordered it July 11th. They said I would be getting it about July 26th, and they would ship it out July 18th. They emailed me and they told me that it was backed up a month. Why? Okay. Why? Okay. Yeah. Why? Oh, no, no, no. They must didn't have all the parts. Um, you know, because HP doesn't make their own graphics cards and stuff like that. And they must didn't have the graphics card, the 38, uh, the GAC graphics card in stock. Um, so I called HP a representative. She helped me find an, an already made one that was ready to ship out. And this one was already made to ship out. So I made, I purchased this one and I got it a couple of days ago. And I was so happy because I was afraid that they might not have any cut already made, already built HP only PCs. I was starting to say, do I want to go to Alienware? Do I want to get like an, um, an other brand uh, gaming PC? Because um, I was pondering Alienware until I saw this beast. And um, uh, three guys um, on the um, on YouTube that, that was really influential in me purchasing this PC. Uh, Dan, Dan can Justin in. I think it yes, is Justin Ian, Dan Ken, and the poets. Those three guys I was watching their videos and they were really influential of me purchasing this PC. And this thing is huge. This is probably the most tallest game, one of the most tallest gaming PCs I've ever seen. I like the build quality of this. 
and it's not because I'm an HP customer, like, because I've, I've been an HP customer practically, practically, practically all my life. It's just the, um, the, the weight and the build of it. it, it you, you can tell, you can look at this PC, uh, gaming PC, you could just tell that it's modern and it looks sleek and it looks premium. It looks modern, it performs modern, it feels modern. The components inside are modern. So I'm just going to go over some specs with you guys um, this, just to see um, what this, what kind of specs it has. And then I'm going to open it up and I'm going to tell you all about what's inside this Okay, PC. guys, I'm back. Well, this gaming PC is running for $2,699 on HP's website. Um, I didn't pay anywhere near that. I actually got this for $1,999, $1,999, and I saved about $700 off of it, so I just bought it in the nick of time. Um, this PC, if you go to Best Buy on Best Buy's website, you're not going to find this PC for $1,999. You're not going to buy anything it, you're not gonna you're gonna find it and like this will be like 3400 but you're gonna get a lot more specs but this particular one with these specs it's probably gonna be around twenty six hundred dollars now um it was on sale when i bought it so i just bought it in the nick of time so let's get to the specs um this is one in windows 11 home so that's the operating system on this the processor is an intel core i7 one twenty seven hundred K up to five point G excuse me five point zero gigahertz uh with turbo boost so you get the turbo boost with that five point oh gigahertz it has twelve cores twenty threads and it has a twenty five megabyte L L three catch so you're gonna this is a very fast processor and you're really gonna be able to do a lot on this processor. The graphics is a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 that's clocking at 10 gigabits. Uh, it's GDDR6X dedicated with LHR. So you want to get that. That's a very powerful GPU. Um, the CPU was powerful as well as I mentioned before. The 10 gigabits of RAM, like I said before, um, it is DDR4. So just be on the lookout in this HyperX, so it's actually HP's RAM that they installed in here. So it has four DIMM slots. The storage it has a 512 gigabit um, WD um, SSD drive. Um, it, let me see. The secondary storage is uh, 720 RPM SATA HDD. So it has one terabyte. SATA HDD and a 512 gigabyte SSD. So you want to get some storage on this, but I upgraded my, uh, it added some storage and then I get a little, I get to that a little bit later. Um, inner network interface has an integrated LAN. Uh, so you're going to get a, a one, you're going to get a 10, 100, and a thousand GB LAN. Uh, wireless, it does have Wi Fi 6 in this, so that's a plus. Wi-Fi 6, shout out to HP for that. The power supply is 100, excuse me, 100, 800 watt gold certified ATX power supply. So that's a pretty big power supply at 800 watts. The internal ports, it has two, two USB 2.0 type A, one super speed USB type C, one super speed USB type A, one super speed USB type C, one super C, super speed USB type A, two USB 2.0, and an audio out, and it has a microphone, headphone, jig combo in there, and it has a battery charge and sleep and charge and stuff like that. Those gate, all that good stuff. Expansion slots, it has one PCIe, one PCIe times four, one PCIe times 16, two for SSD, and one for LAN, excuse me, WLAN, and it has one HDMI port. Yeah, that's HDMI 2.1, I've confirmed that, that's HDMI 2.1 port. 
Um, the audio in this is amazing. 5.1 surround sound, DTSX. Yes, this does has DTSX. DTSX in, integrated into, into it. me, I'm a Adobe Atmos guy, but people like DTSX, so it's all, it's all about personal preference. It's energy efficient. Um, the color is black. It has a glass side panel and a dark chrome logo. It comes with a wire keyboard and wire mouse, but I got a wireless keyboard and wireless mouse. I'll get to that a little bit later. It's almost 50 pounds, so it clocks in at 49.82 pounds. It has a one year lim limited warranty. Now, I talked to HP, they said the extended coverage, their extended warranty is like $300 next year. I'm thinking I'm going to buy that. I am going to buy that because anytime you buy an expensive electronic, whether it's a, a TV, gaming console pc whatever etc etc get some extended warranty on it it has a 22 excuse me 240 millimeter rgb liquid cooler the system fan it has three by 120 millimeter rg argb front fan so the fans in the middle excuse me the fans in the front there and it has water-based paint Let's get inside this PC because I want to show you guys the inside of this PC because it's a monster inside this. Not not literally a monster inside this, but it's a monster. The specs and the hardware are monsters inside here. So I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I'm at the side of the PC, the right hand side of the PC. So you can see right there there's an internal access button so all you have to do is press on this and you get access Ooh, hold on and you get access to the inside of this pc let me just hold on guys i'm trying not to drop this because it's glass and it's, it'll break easy. I'm trying not to drop that. Okay. If you see right there, it has the 45L on the glass there. It says designed and engineered by HP, which is dope. Okay, let's go into the inside of the computer. Um, you see those two tubes right there? Those push air out of that AIO. And there's actually up here to this chiro chamber here, it actually pushes, there's two fans inside this chiro chamber and they push the hot air out of the um, top of this chiro chamber here. So that AIO cools off the, um, you know, the um, CPU, the Intel i7 CPU when it pushes it up to those tubes. And it comes out um, to that. This it comes up to the chiral chamber, and there's two fans in here, and it goes out through these vents. So that's pretty damn dope, and that's pretty. That's a dope ass design by HP. Let me tell you, man, they really have designed this gaming PC top notch. Shout out to HP. So there you got the two HyperX memory sticks ram sticks if i did have to upgrade it probably be like 32 that should be more than enough here's the geforce rtx 3080 um it's really really long you see that sag bracket there that's that it sets into which is really really nice um the wireless card is under there. You can see it right there. Wire here, there's the Wi-Fi card. Um, let's see, let's go to the uh, top here. As you can see there, there's the two super speed USB, um, a USB type A in the um two usb type a that's not super speed you got your headphone jack and your microphone jack and your power switch power button rather 
Let's go on the back here. You got your microphone, you got your speaker, and you got your um, audio, I think that, but yeah, that button's audio, the blue one's audio, I think. Then you got your two USB um, A type A's right there, ports right there, your ethernet LAN port right there. Two more super speed USB with 3.0s down here and two super speed USB type C ports. Those are USB type A ports in the middle. This is a beast of a machine, man. You got your rear fan there to push air out of the back of the PC. Div three DVI ports on that um graphics card and one HDMI 2.1 port right there. You'll see a little scratch there. I made a mistake by like scratching it with the H the end of the HDMI cord the HBI cable so forgive me on that and near down here there's your power supply and there's where the power plug goes into right there okay so I'm going to go on the side here it's another internal access button on the side here for the, the other side of it trying not to Now, here is where all the stuff for the lighting and, you know, for the CPU, lighting on the CPU, the lighting on the RAM, the lighting on the fans with this LED board. This is this controls all of that, the lighting on this computer, which is super, super dope. And what we have here, now this, bay, this um, door right here, this you can access the back of the motherboard through this so you take this off if you want to upgrade your aio you can remove this and it'll, it'll just access the back of the motherboard which is super super cool here you got two bays for expansion for ssd ssd drives like you could put two right here in these bays so you got your power supply there, cooler master. And over here, you have four a data set of um, HDD connectors and SSD connectors, but you only have one SATA power cable there. Um, you can buy, the, you have to buy an extra one or how many, it, it depends how many HDDs and SSDs you you um expand to this expand to this PC, but you have to buy extra of these right here, these uh, SATA power connectors. Um, you can buy these as cheap as five dollars on Amazon. I've seen them on Amazon for five dollars and less than that. Or if you want to get a good one, I would pay a little bit more than that. But they're not really that. They're not expensive at all. I'm not, not going to say they're not really expensive, they're not expensive at all. So you can buy these and you can route them through any of these holes, preferably like this one because it's closer. Um, you can reroute it through any of these holes right here to the motherboard if you buy an extra a SATA power connector. So let me just show you guys something. Here's my Toshiba one terabyte HDD. Now that this came with the um PC, this came with the HP Omen PC, but I cannot use it at the moment, which I don't need to do use it at the moment because I added a three terabyte Seagate Iron Wolf. Actually, it was four terabytes, my bad. Four terabyte Seagate Iron Wolf HDD to the bottom there. Um once I get another set of power connector, I will be using this if I ever run out of storage. If you can see down there, let me see if you guys can see this. Let me just see if I can take this out. Yeah, you see that right there. There's Mr. Iron Wolf down there. Seagate, it's upside down, but you, you guys know it's uh, the Iron Wolf um, 4 terabyte HDD right there. 
um, and the cable management on this PC is really, really nice. HP did a great job designing this. Um, you know, like some PCs, you have to screw off the um to get to the internal parts, the internal hardware. This you just push a button and the the the, um, the slide door, the side doors come off, and you know you can access the hardware. So HP did a magnificent job designing this computer and the cable management is dope is dope too. And let me show you guys one more thing. The front of it. If you guys see those fans. Actually, you, you probably won't be able to see them until I turn it on. But I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to go to the HP Gaming Hub, which is really, really dope. So I'll be back. Hey, guys, welcome back. So I'm at the Omen Gaming Hub. This is a software that HP has implemented in their gaming PCs, whether they're laptops or desktops. Uh, they've been it's been implemented in them for quite a while now and I love it I've been using it for a couple of days and it's been everything uh, that I hoped it would be because I've researched some things about it um, it's something that I would really really recommend you do if you buy Omen PC if you buy Omen PC desktop or Omen PC laptop it's something that you will want to, um, you know, get used to and get to know and stuff like that. Um, as you can see up at the top right, uh, or top right of the screen, uh, you got some uh, notif you got a notification bell. So you, if you get like notifications and stuff like that, your profile icon, your friends, if you got game friends that you game with or something like that, they'll pop up right there. Um, and you um, can switch to, to prof different profiles um, if you have a, another user that uses uh, your PC, your uh, Omen PC or Omen, yeah, Omen PC desktop or Omen PC laptop. So um, if you look down here in this where it says my gear, there's some shortcuts. Uh, this, if you hit this shortcut, it'll take you to the Omen desktop, which has your, all your information. Uh, here's something. Here's uh, another shortcut where you can shop for accessories, keyboards, mice, uh, gaming monitors, wireless headphones. As you can see here, wireless headphones. You can buy gaming monitors and um, keyboards and mice and stuff like that. Uh, here's some more shortcuts to the um, um, to some of the stuff that's up on your top left. There's a menu, uh, a couple, I'm gonna go down each of these, uh, but here's some shortcuts just in case you don't wanna click up there. You can just click down here to go straight to it. So just to start out with rewards, um, this is just in case you play for prizes or play rewards. They'll, they'll HP will reward you with prizes if you enter tournaments, stuff like that. So that's pretty damn cool right there. Um, that HP has that my games uh, these were pre-installed on my PC so um, I didn't install these these were actually pre-installed pre -installed. but any game that you have if you get buy from HP or buy from Microsoft they'll be right here Oasis Live I have no idea what that is I think it's a multiplayer it's a, uh, multiplayer uh, chat I, I, I have no idea I have to research that um light studio um let me click on here actually let's go back to oasis live and see what this is uh yeah you oh yeah you have to create a gamer a gamer handle it's like playing on it is playing online so if you were ever to play online i guess you go to actually you will go to oasis live so Let's exit that and uh, go down to Light Studio. Here's where you can create like custom like lights for the fans, for the CPU, uh, for the square around the CPU, uh, the light on the square around the CPU and the RAM sticks. The lights on the RAM sticks, you can create, customize it, uh, stuff like that. 
Um, let's go down the gallery here. You can get a lot of wallpapers people have uploaded. Um, there's also some some um, exclusive Omen wallpapers that HP has have implemented on here, and um, spotlight collections right here. So let's take a look at a couple of these. Pretty damn dope. There's Parappa the Rapper. A lot of cool wallpapers that you can use on your desktop background. Uh, if you want to design something, you can use these. Pretty damn cool. There's Valorant. I think that's Forza, if I'm not mistaken. Just a lot of cool wallpapers for you to have. And they're all free. You don't have to pay a dime for them. And they're all in 4K, so you don't have to worry about that. If you have a 4K display, that is. <clears throat> Valorant looks like a really dope game. I want to play that. Resident Evil 3. I would like to play your, your Spider-Man. All the Spider-Man ones. Stuff like that, you know. Um, let's go down the optimizer. Now, here's where you can boost your gaming experience. Let me close that. You can boost your gaming experience. Uh, it has, you have a booster here. There's also a cleaner to clean up unnecessary files you have. Let's go down to Omen Desktop. Now, here's where it really gets interesting. Now, this Omen Desktop um, section, it is... It has all these, it has six tabs you can choose from. Actually, you can choose from, yeah, you can choose from, and you can uh, check your vitals, overclocking network, lighting, performance control, and power options. So I'm gonna go through these one by one. Here, system vitals, it has all your hardware information, your GPU. Right now, it's running at 33 degrees Celsius. And the, the utilization is about 12, 9, 9%, 12%, and then it goes down to 3%. It, it fluctuates, so it goes up and down. Your CPU, it's at 25 degrees, 25, 26 degrees Celsius. The utilization is about 2%. Uh, here's the RAM. Um, you can see how much RAM it's being used, 38%, which is pretty average. Your storage information, here's my SSD drive. I have 38, excuse me, 381.9 gigabytes free on the SSD. And here's my, the D drive. Uh, this is my C Wolf 4 terabyte, uh, no, Seagate Iron Wolf 4 terabyte hard drive. I have 1.5 terabytes free of 3.6 terabytes so it's actually a four terabyte but i think it just rounds out the 3.6 terabytes which is really a lot um your settings i um, have mine as balance but you can choose and here's something right here um you can choose your power mode balance or performance i recommend you use balance uh, for the simple fact that, uh, you know, just don't touch anything. Just leave it at balance for the simple fact. It, it gives you between, it gives you an op, gives you not an option, but it gives you, uh, in between balance and performance, you know, stuff like that. And it, it, it makes your gaming experience and gaming PC experience all that right, much better. Or you could just do performance if you would like to increase your, um, you know, gaming experience. But and here's the thermal controls. And I'm going to press this manual and see what it does. Y'all can hear that fan. The back fan is going really fast ever since I clicked that so and you got three um three selections to choose from for the fans 
why a normal turbo I got it on normal. Well, the overall system temperature, 26 degrees Celsius for the CPU, 32 degrees Celsius for the GPU, and the CPU utilization about like 5%. Here's your power option. Now, this is a very cool feature. Let's say you're not using the PC and you don't want the lights to stay on, the, the CPU light or the RAM light or lights or the um, fan lights. You can have this turned on and then turn off at, if you're idle for five minutes. So that's something that's cool. And uh, let's go to overclocking. Um, this is if you want to run a benchmark. I ran a benchmark and my score was 4141. Network booster, just in case you want to um, boost your network's usage. I get about a gig of uh, internet speeds for my ISP, so I don't think I want to boost anything up. <laughs> Now here's my favorite part of this, the lightning. So um, you can change the colors on the diamond, the HP Omen diamond. Uh, you can change the color on the fan lights and the colors on the CPU light, the RAM stick lights and the um, top, top bar light right here. Okay, so I'm going to um, play around with this for a minute, see if you change the um diamond light to red and i don't know if you yeah you guys can see that or not i just changed it to red i'm gonna change it back to white if you click here you can change the um the lighting board um where the cpu the ram and everything are at in the top light so you can uh do galaxy as you can see don't know if you guys can see the inside of it, but in here, there's Volcano that has like a orange, yellow-ish color to it. Galaxy has like rainbow colors. Jungle has like a greenish, yellowish, orange color. And Ocean has like a bluish, purplish, pinkish color. I'm going to set it back to... Uh, I like jungle, especially on the inside. Jungle is dope. Then you go to the, here's the fans. If you wanna make, customize this, um, let me see. So here's the fan number one, let's see. Actually, I want to make that. See if I can get some, make some traffic lights. Yeah, that's green light in fan number two. Making it a yellow light in fan number three. A red light. See, I got those traffic lights over there. Um, I don't understand why the third fan is at the top. It should have been at the bottom. HP. Uh, mess this so they should they have the first fan on top first second fan on bottom and the third fan excuse me the first first fan on top second fan in the middle and third fan on bottom on the bottom so i'm just going to change it back see to restart so it's on galaxy now you can change it to volcano but um i'm going to i'm just going to change it back to gallery for galaxy for oh you know what I like jungle. I'm going to change it. Actually, ocean. Let's change it to ocean. See that one. And then that one. And then that one. And you can you can flip them. Or you can flip them in the opposite direction. You see that? It goes left to the right. I like it going to the right. And finally, the RAM sticks. So there's no like ocean or volcano or, you know, jungle on this one. Why? I don't know why HP didn't implement those on here for some strange reason. But um, matter of fact, since, yeah, jungle, ocean, yeah. 
they have I don't know why on the um Hyper X Fury uh, the lights they didn't they only have Galaxy for this. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys you can change the speed of it to see how fast it's going now. But I like it going medium with the um the lights in there inside the um inside the unit. But I like the medium. I always put everything in medium. Um, and that's about, actually there's two more tabs. I, I showed you guys this one already and this one. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, as far as the um, review of this HP P Omen PC gaming desktop goes. Um, I love it. Two days having it. I'm loving it so far. Um, it's been everything I'd hope for it to be, and then some, and then more, not some more. So, um, I thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave comments down below. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see y'all on the next video.